Okay, let's have a look on Twitter here. Huh, not unexpected. I wonder what Hasbro has to say about Hero Quest. Let's see. Um, whoever took my guide for knowing which tiles in my bathroom are traps shall return it immediately or be turned into a potato and baked two times. Ha, <laughs> yeah, I guess that's kind of funny. Sort of pointing out the absurdity of living in a dungeon where there are loads of traps under the flagstones. You really would need a good memory just to walk around the place on a daily basis. Hmm, what else? Little known fact, a potion of stop fire is just water. Uh, yeah, he's not wrong. Good one. Charging my phone here at the Dread Castle is simple. I command one of the mummies to shuffle up and down the hallway rug to generate static electricity. Then I use that to charge my phone. It's not even magic, really. Wait, what? That's not even a joke. Uh... Next form of wizardry to master, getting the yeast to rise when baking bread. Ugh, I think the only thing rising here are the backers' tempers. Alright, okay. Uh, hey everybody, welcome to Always Bored Never Boring. I'm back looking at the Hasbro Twitter feed for their reboot of HeroQuest, and it's weird as ever. If you're not aware of this, after the successful crowdfunding campaign for HeroQuest, there was a radio silence for quite some time. But in March, after four months or so, Hasbro did share a few updates on Twitter, which I've discussed in a previous video. Then, more radio silence, until June the 7th, when the Twitter feed was supposedly taken over by Zargon, who appears to be the office clown with a bad line in dad jokes. His interactions on the page were so bizarre, I even contacted Hasbro to make sure the account hadn't been hacked. But it was genuine. And to be fair, while the humour was not to my liking, I appreciated them making an effort to engage with fans and build a little hype. However, the gag is getting old now, and from reading comments it seems that a lot of followers are losing patience. But Zargon has shared a couple of good posts. I talk about one in my previous video on the subject, and there has been one more since. So we'll take a quick look at that. It's actually the box art for the two expansions that were crowdfunded at the same time as the base game. These are reproductions of Keller's Keep and Return of the Witch Lord, and I've looked at the original versions of those expansions on my channel previously, and I'll put some links in the video description for anyone interested. Each pack contains a new narrative campaign of linked quests, with exciting new stories and challenges. Keller's Keep pits you against the Greenskin Horde, and comes with more of the green enemies from the game, so that's the Orcs, the Goblins, and the Fema, I, I mean Abominations. Return of the Witch Lord, as you might expect, sees you fighting against the undead, so you get more zombies, skeletons, and mummies. The first obvious thing to note about these expansions is that the artwork is directly comparable in composition to the original artwork. Hasbro have given their new Hero Quest a fresh modern look, but almost all of the artwork we have seen so far is a direct homage to an original piece, and they have continued this trend with the expansions. So on Keller's Keep, we have our dwarf balanced precariously on the crags as he battles the gargoyle, while for Witchlord, we have our brave barbarian, captured at the mercy of his undead foes. I've said it before, and I will say it again, I do like the approach Hasbro has taken here. I love the original HeroQuest art, I grew up with it, and it's special to me, so new artwork is never going to be as appealing, but I appreciate they need to give everything a fresh coat of paint, and it does feel like a genuine attempt to maintain some of the spirit of the original game. Good job. Unfortunately, we don't get a peek inside the boxes, so the covers are all we have to talk about, but the fact there are proper covers at all is a good sign that Hasbro are thinking of taking these products to retail. While crowdfunding exclusives do sometimes get professional packaging, I always feel like there's a better chance of such products finding their way onto a store shelf when they are presented accordingly. These boxes have all the relevant branding and information on the age group and number of players. It also has a bold tagline that the products are for expanding the HeroQuest game system. It just feels like it's designed for a shelf. But of course, we'll never know until we know and Zargon's lips are sealed. Actually, I wish they were sealed. They never shut up. 
Since these images were shared on June the 16th, the Twitter account has fallen into a rather boring and repetitive slump. We appear to be getting one bad dad joke per day from Monday to Friday, and then we get weekends off, possibly for good behavior. It can't last because this no longer feels like engagement. It feels like treading water. Each new post feels like it simply happened to give the impression Hasbro wants to keep the conversation going, but it's just a bit of silliness, and it does appear to be taking a toll on the fans who are hungry to hear more. I am hopeful this won't go on too much longer. We know Hasbro have received a lot more factory samples than they have shown off so far, and they have a lot more they could be saying. Fingers crossed for a lot more of that, and a lot less of the dad jokes. But that's it from me for now. Don't forget to let me know what you think in the comments. If you like the video, please consider pressing the like button. If you really like the video, please consider subscribing if you don't already do so. And hopefully, I'll see you all again very soon. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.